Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be testing out the new meta. So as you can see on the screen, the update just dropped a couple of minutes ago. We've already purchased the new Daruma Mr. P skin and we actually got a cool spray with it as well. So a bunch of new stuff to jump into. So uh, yeah, before we go into it, make sure you're using the credit code in the shop. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, jumping into the first game then. So first, we wanted to try out the new surge. That's going to be the most like controversial change and especially with the new gadget as well. Well, of course, you get the first gadget still unlocked, and I feel like that's the better one. Uh, so that is pretty cool right there. So we haven't really got any shots towards our super, which isn't really the best considering. And uh, now we're still at level one, hoping we can get some charges on against that other surge. Looks like he's probably going to take us down here unless we can heal up in time. But yeah, we get some cool sprays as well to use. Uh, again, I've got to be careful of this one. We should be able to get our upgrade off him, though. He's getting into our range, so we should be able to get that pretty soon. We're just going to walk away from him because it looks like we're in a 3v2 situation up here. I'm just going to use my upgrade, uh, my uh, gadget again, so I can at least get my second upgrade. Looks like I can near enough chain it again, and that's going to be a goal. I don't know what the Surge is doing below me. I think it's just way too fixated on the 1v1 engagement, whilst I could just run up and get the goal so i've got one more gadget left so it's really important that i try and get my super here so i can get my third level when the gadget runs out and just like that i've definitely got my third level here and i'm going to work to, uh, towards the way of getting the fourth one so it looks like surge is pretty much one shot here we should be able to take him down i completely forgot that you can actually jump with a super it's going to take such a long time to get used to it like in the back of my mind i keep thinking that i need to press my gadget to tp onto players so gotta get used to that one I'm going to shoot Colt here. We can jump on him as well. The good thing about this super and being able to like jump is that you can get that additional super damage as well, which is really nice. Of course, with your TP, you will uh, be able to like TP and deal damage to him. So it's a really nice change. Looks like Surge is popping off for the enemy team. Just as left on defense. I don't think we're going to be saving this one unless these guys mess it up and it's going to be 1-1. So at least we've got our upgrade to go to third level. I'm just going to use it because there's no real opportunity to jump on anyone and of course you don't want to just suicide in uh, with a jump like you're not invincible you got to remember uh, that for sure it's like the surge has uh, unfortunately disconnected for the enemy teams and this should be an easy win for us the surge feeling like he's pretty strong right now let's hop into the next one all right guys next up we're going to be testing out the new fang so fang it seems like he got hit really hard with the balance changes well from just the uh, looking at the patch notes, it looked like he did get hit quite a lot. So we're going to be testing him out, seeing if he's still pretty strong in the meta. My first initial thoughts is that Fang's still going to be really strong, but he's not going to be as obviously nowhere near as broken as before because you could just spam that super button and it'll just go absolutely crazy, just hitting things that you didn't really mean to hit. So we should be able to go onto the Lola here. Just a stun alone, it's going to allow us to get an extra shot off. You can see there the 0.5 seconds may not seem like a lot, but I instantly felt it. Like Lola was able to basically shoot me straight away as soon as I stunned her. So of course, you've got to be wary of that. Probably going to test out Bo after this just because uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting change. Looks like Bo gets some well-timed mines onto us. And yeah, it's pretty unfortunate that these guys are probably going to score here. I keep forgetting that I've got sprays uh, to put out on the field. That's going to be another thing to remember. I've got two ways to BM, so I've got to make use of all of it. So I can spam my sprays and spam my emotes. So it's like Lola is uh, using her... Uh, gadget there should be able to get my super in one shot's time looks like bow's mines okay nearly connected onto me there and they're also a little bit squishy with fang that's what i've got to remember as well i'm not as invincible i should probably put the shield uh, gear on fang now because uh when you first go in with your super you do need a little bit of extra shield so bow mines gonna unfortunately trip us up uh but looks like we can just sneak down the right hand side still got two more gadgets left to use as well we're just going to use that straight on the Lola. I mean, maybe a bit of overkill going for the stun straight away, but I wanted to confirm that kill. So we're in a really good, uh, good position to score here uh, as long as our uh, teammate comes up pretty quick. We're one shot away from our super. This uh, Lola gadget is going to be really annoying. It's basically impossible to kill that Lola once she pops that gadget. Uh, but we're one shot away from super. We hopefully will be able to chain onto these uh, enemies here. Still one shot away. It's so frustrating trying to get your super with Fang sometimes uh, because of how slow the actual kick hits. But we're able to get our super now. Well, now we're going to heal up, wait for the enemies to try and combine together, or at least go closer together so we can get 
a good super off so yeah i'm gonna go here we should be able to get onto all of them here nearly managing to kill all three of them uh, but you can see there maybe like the additional super damage might have helped a little bit better uh, but yeah fang still seems like a really strong brawler but maybe other brawlers are going to power creep him in this meta so yeah that's going to be fang in this new meta let's hop into the next one all right guys so jumping into the next again then so instantly i want to be trying out bo bo has always been secretly one of my favorite brawlers especially in past metas in competitive i just used to love playing bo i don't know what it is about him it's just really satisfying to play and especially when the enemies trip over like all of your minds so yeah i want to test out bo i feel like this extra attack speed it's going to be secretly really overpowered especially with the amount of damage you can actually output it's going to be really easy for you guys to hit those shots onto the enemy so so we're going to get slowed again by the crowd just looks like this guy really hates me he just doesn't want me doing anything within this game should we have to dodge our way up to this dynamite hopefully okay at least we've got some additional um positioning it looks like tara is going to get hit by the mines that is uh pretty perfect so far at least a b is actually back she was uh, inactive at the beginning but yeah looks like these enemies are just simply running away from us for the most part can't actually get uh, the shots on that we want to we're going to take that crow down pretty easily i just feel like in a 1v1 scenario bow is just going to be so strong now especially just being able to spam auto aim so ridiculously quick being able to again output so much damage imagine with the damage gear as well it's going to be insane already just by pure numbers like bow was able to like four or five shot certain brawlers i think can actually like five shot a spike uh correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section but i think off the top of my head you can uh do that because of the previous balance changes and now with this additional speed it's going to be insane so that's going to be a kill onto the crow uh, dynamite's been pretty annoying here looks like he's gonna try and take down the tara he tried to be slick with it but he wasn't able to actually take me down there i'm just gonna press the gadget hoping i can get someone i think i actually got the crow there which uh, was pretty decent but we haven't even had an opportunity to score here so i'm gonna pop the mines at the top so i can break open more of our walls uh crow's just gonna get absolutely melted wow this just feels insane this attack speed buff is gonna be insane so when power league randoms finally go bow they might actually be able to do something so uh this is pretty epic especially for you guys stuck in like the diamond and gold leagues like bow might actually be a good brawler now so maybe don't rage at your randoms if they pick bow because honestly he seems absolutely cracked right now so Again, got to be able to take down the crow. We've got the pets just uh, taking us down in the corner. But looking like we should be able to hold on for the victory here. So, yeah. I already feel like Bo, I don't know. He just has to be a top brawler in this meta. He just feels so, so strong. Maybe I'm overrating him. I don't know. But this attack buff just feels so good uh, to him in the meta. So, yeah. That's going to be Bo in this new meta. Hopefully, we can... Uh, keep us away let's hop into another brawler all right guys jumping into the final game then i'm going to be testing out the bb let me know if you want me to test out any other brawlers in future videos but just wanted to test out uh, the main obvious ones i could have probably tested out the eve as well but i feel like she's still going to be pretty strong overall so yeah i want to test out bb just because normally whenever bb gets even like a slight buff to her hp she just becomes really strong which is just like a common feature about bb in the meta we should be able to take down the eve but those pets are just so annoying that's why i feel like eve is still going to be strong because she can cycle her super like crazy her star power didn't get nerfed either so uh, yeah pretty frustrating that eve i feel like still going to be a really top brawler in the meta so that's why i missed that one out so we're going to be able to push up the enemies here we can pop our gadget and push straight into the eve should be able to take her down pretty easily and yeah that's going to be a goal right there and i feel like bb especially the synergy with like a byron uh, can be pretty insane and it feels like uh she might actually be used now so uh, this could be pretty cool i'm gonna pop our gadget going into the coal as well and i always prefer this uh shield star power because it gives you that extra hp as well and yeah you don't really need the extra speed with bb unless you're playing like siege but obviously siege is out of the game right now so that's where uh, that kind of star power doesn't really have a place in the meta uh, anymore so we're just gonna try and knock back the gale here um also as well uh with the damage gear as well uh combining with the already buff to his main attack i feel like it's going to be really strong so we should be able to take down the gale there we should be able to oh, okay that's super ball uh super kick the ball uh out there we should be able to get this super down before the hatchlings come out and we can just run up to this eve and essentially two shot the eve which is just so so broken i just love that feature about bb right now we should be able to push into the gale as well but these pets are just so annoying just over and over again by having to waste ammo but good thing about 
Eevers actually has a faster reload speed, so we should be able to push up uh, to the enemies here. Looks like Mortis is going to be able to score, so that's going to be the final game. All right, guys, it's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know who you think is going to be really OP in this meta. In a few days' time, I'll probably do like a best six brawlers video. Uh, but yeah, so far, I've tested out quite a few brawlers, and I feel like Bo is going to be the really strong brawler in this meta, especially considering he's one of the worst. He's going to have the most impact in this new meta. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.